a six cents out of a nickel thought of the day. As some of you might have seen, I did release a, a video early this morning, and um, it was kind of like a tongue-in-cheek, a um, little bit more whimsical style. And um, I thought I'd just try that out, and it was on a suggestion that maybe I should post videos in the morning. Um, it seems to have gathered some kind of an audience anyway. So every once in a while, I, I'll, so I'll post one in the morning. Uh, why not? Uh, I'll make it a little bit more whimsical than, than the, uh, the thought of the day idea. Every once in a while, I think it's a good idea. I think I'll call the segment Morning Release. Uh, just to, to keep the pun going. I'll put more, the words morning release in parentheses somewhere in the title so you know what you're in for. It'll just be a supplemental or a, a, an extra piece uh, just to throw in there for, for your amusement. Today I just thought I'd regale you with a story that, um, that has a purposeful meaning at the end of it. Um, when I was dating my, my late wife, my second wife, uh, she lived in an, an apartment complex that uh, people would do a lot of partying on weekends and they would toss their bottles and cans, their empty beer bottles and cans, uh, out onto the, onto the lawn. Now I would come along every weekend and go for a walk for about an hour to go and pick all these up and you know, I'd collect them and I'd put them in the trunk of the car. Um, after a couple of months, they started collecting quite handsomely and uh, <clears throat> that's when I I decided okay I picked up um, the woman who would be my second wife my at the time she was my girlfriend um, I, I picked her up and I said oh well you know it, I'd like to take all the beer bottles and cans back to the to the beer store if, if that's if that's okay she says oh that's a great idea they're making a mess in the car it's just horrible it's, it's taking up too much trunk space so I did that I uh, went in, dealt with that, came back out, and then I said, so where do you want to go for lunch? And it, uh, it was like a light bulb came on. And she said, we're going somewhere for lunch? Like, yeah, we are now. And so she said, well, how much was there there? It was like, it was almost $30 of beer bottles and beer cans that were sitting in the trunk. So we basically went to lunch for free. And a good part of our entertainment was finding things that we could do for nothing or next to nothing I, and still have fun doing it. Um, McDonald's had these coffee cards and these coffee, they still have them. They're going to discontinue them soon. But they have these coffee cards where if you collect seven stickers, you get a free coffee. Well, people would throw their cups away and the stickers would still be on them. So everywhere we went, it's like, oh, there's a sticker. Peel the, peel the sticker off and put it on my card. And uh, we every once in a while, we'd go for coffee for free. So anywhere that had a promotion or a gimmick or something they were giving away for free, we were on it because really, to get something for nothing is a rarity in, these wor in this world nowadays. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a complete miser like me, but... Uh, it's amazing the kinds of things that you can do with very little or no money. Uh, you don't really need money to have a good time. Uh, even just go for a walk, go for a bike ride. Um, just enjoy each other's company. I think that's the most important thing. We're living in a world where times are getting tougher, things are getting more expensive, and it's not so easy to, to be doing the things that we used to do for entertainment anymore. Even when you have the money, I find it a lot more interesting to try to do things without money. And uh, you find challenges. You find ways of getting around things. You, you, you have, life is so much more interesting that way. I've met so many people who lose interest in life. They lose interest in, in the things they do. They find life to be boring or re repetitive. And I think part of it is because they, they don't embrace the challenges of, of the life that they had when when they didn't have as much. I've even heard the phrase, we had it all when we had nothing. And I think that's something we can learn. When you look back, it's quite true, isn't it? I mean, a, a lot of my best stories, a lot of the, the most exciting things that have ever happened in my life happened when I had no money. I had nothing to work with. You know, I had 
I was trapped in the middle of nowhere with, you know, my car broken or something going wrong. Those are usually the most fun times. Those are the times that we talk about when we're old. Really, because when we're old, we don't really have the fancy stuff anymore. You know, we're sitting in a rocking chair usually, if you like rocking chairs. And uh, you're just talking about the stories, the things you did, the places you've been, the, the, you know, all the good stuff. I guess this really hits home for me because uh, after Michelle's passing, I really had to try and reinvent myself. You know, just try to, it was like a reset. And uh, I'm really been on a mission for the last few years just trying to figure out who I am right now I'm different than I was and I think part of that journey is to start from the beginning really kind of reset all the way back try to 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 enjoy the things that I used to enjoy you know rediscover the things that I discovered and then I can figure out who I am again it's a it's a never-ending journey we all need to figure out who we are some of us do it once and we got it figured out some of us have to do it multiple times like myself I think living simply is a, a great way to puzzle yourself out and maybe work out the any wrinkles that you might have in your personality work out any wrinkles that you might have in your life I don't know um, I'm just kind of spitballing here but you know going through those going through those challenges tends to make life a little bit more exciting um, brings you back to who you are at your core level and really nothing makes you happier than knowing who you are that's all I have for today Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.